of a sudden, I hear a little girl said, Mommy, Mommy, that man is showing his balls. What the? Guys, we're here again to talk about some wardrobe malfunction stories. And if you missed my last video, I'm going to leave it somewhere in the cards above. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm also going to leave it in the description and any other place that you can imagine where a video link would be. But so fortunately in this story, we're not going to mention my crazy grandma stalker because to be honest with you, after a little while, I, she actually faded from existence, right? We were neighbors, but I'm pretty sure she was one of those, I don't leave the house. And if I left, I never saw her in the streets, right? She was just never present. So this story actually takes place before I even noticed the crazy grandma, right? This is when my mom was still with me before she left. And I explained all of this in the last video, but while my mom was there, we were, she was just helping me buy stuff for my survival, right? I was going to be alone for a little while and she just wanted to ensure that I had everything. And it was during winter. So of course we had to buy a lot of uh, clothes for the cold. And of course we had to buy some cozy material to keep your boy fresh, even when it was fresh outside. So we bought a lot of jackets, a lot of interior uh, t-shirts. But the one thing we bought in excess were these, like, I do not know what to call it in English, but it's like these trousers that you put on and then you put on trousers. Like you put this in on, right? And then you put on some other trousers so you can keep your legs cozy. And they're not that, they're really comfortable and everything, you know? They're just inner trousers. I'll call them inner trousers. So we go to like one of these shops, right? And they sell an abundance of these at a very low price. So my mom buys like, I'm not kidding, like 10 or 11 pairs, like five black and no, five white, and like four black, something like that, right? I have a black one here, but, but we had like an abundance of these. So I would always wear this wherever I went, right? I would put it on. And then, as I said, I would put on my other trousers and we would just chill around the house going out. It was just a normal thing, right? So on a certain day, my mom asks me to go buy some groceries and it was really close by, right? It was one of those go down and there's these after the curve, there's a store well, where the Indian guy sells, you know, tomatoes and stuff. So my mom gave me a list of things to buy. I had to go buy vegetables and then I had to go to a meat store and buy some meat. And yeah, I think that's it. I also went to another store just to buy some treats right so what do i do i'm i'm there chilling and since it was kind of cold outside but i didn't want to dress up you know i just put this on a shirt a jacket and i went out you guys you have you have you ever had that feeling like everyone's staring at you and it, it's not one of those nah I, everyone's looking at me because i'm hot because i am hot and sexy but it was a staring at me like something's wrong. And a lot of people weren't looking like at my top half, they were looking at my legs. So I'm like, damn, these legs, they are really working, huh? And I passed through a lot of people, a lot of people. <laughs> so I got to the shop and in the shop, I, it was the same thing. I was getting the same treatment like, Everyone was just looking and I was kind of feeling cold as well, but only my bottom area. And so I buy the stuff. I get all the vegetables I need. I give to the guy and he starts laughing. I'm like, is something funny? Do I have something on my face? Like, <laughs> no, 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 bro. Don't worry, don't worry. Your total is like uh, $10. I'm like, okay, whatever. I give it to him after that. The meat place is like right after that, like you get out of the store, walk, there's a meat store. So I do that and the meat guy is actually our friend. He's friends with my mom and of course my friend as well because I always, always went there. So I get there, this man immediately tells me to stop. I'm confused, like I'm like, what's wrong? Did I steal something? <laughs> did, they catch you? did they finally catch you on camera? I never stole anything. Don't tell my dad or mom. 
Well, you tell my dad or mom. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I hear a little girl said, Mommy, mommy, that man is showing his balls. What the f? <clears throat> I freeze. I'm like, what the f is going on? I look behind me because she pointed in my direction and I see no one. I'm like, are they talking? What, what is it? What are they talking about? The guy, the meat seller, right? He's like, Dave, why did you leave the house like this? I'm, I'm perplexed. I'm like, what the hell is everyone on about? What, what, what is going on? Like, I don't understand. That's when it hit me. Guys, you remember when I said I was feeling cold only in the ne northern or south region, right? And a lot of people were just looking at my legs and bottom area. So, something I didn't explain to you guys is the way this thing is constructed it doesn't have any pockets right it doesn't have any anything and it's a very regular trouser right well i forgot to say that there is a opening right here in the front and i left the house like this and my <laughs> i'm gonna blame it on the cold because the fact that I didn't notice that it was open and everyone was looking legit lo <laughs> legit looking through and seeing my balls I wasn't naked but it was like right there like I, I, I feel so embarrassed to say I passed so many people so many people and I was getting weird stares, laughs, and I was just thinking it was normal. I'm there chilling on my phone, listening to music, and... <sighs> so, I see this. I immediately say, I'm gonna be right back. I run home. <laughs> While I'm running, I am seeing the people that I already passed because I was in the area with a lot of old people so they walk really slow. So on my way back, I still cr I crossed paths with the people that saw me while I was going and then I noticed that they were looking at me weird because of this and I got so embarrassed. I almost tripped, got back up, ran as fast as I could, I went home, I look at my mom, she's like, yeah she left like that? I, I was like, you knew. I was semi practically exposing my whole junk and you didn't bother to tell me she's like oh, I thought you noticed and you would have changed mom you saw me leave the house she just laughed laughed and I of course I also laughed after because this is hilarious actually this is a story <laughs> that it was crazy when it happened and fortunately no one filmed me that I know of. I got the nickname of the dog exposure because I was walking around exposing myself. But until the day I actually left that place, trust me, it was hell. Every single person that I saw, especially the meat and the guy at the store with the veggies, they would always bring it up whenever they could. It was awful. But yeah, that's the story of how I didn't notice I was walking around with a freaking hole in my pants and just crossed around the streets where a bunch of kids adults and old people just made fun of me and it stick with me until this day but guys if you like the video please smash that like button um leave a comment down below you know to help it helps with the youtube algorithm just so you know and i'm gonna make sure to watch my last video if you didn't get the chance to with all of that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one peace out